Okay guys, I'm here today with Jason Rawl and Placido, huge honor for me. Guys, Jason is one of the best instructors and athletes in Nogi nowadays. He's a black belt from Matt Serra and he has been, he trained for a very long time with John Danaher as well. And uh, he's just filming an entire structure all about the cross Ashi. And today he's gonna show us here one of his favorite moves from that situation. And I'm very excited to- Thanks for having us. Uh, so we're gonna start off uh, in a cross Ashi position with the second leg control. So I have my legs on the inside and I have some type of Achilles grip on his second leg right here. So one of my favorite things to do in this position is to switch from the cross Ashi to attacking an outside heel hook right here. So we're gonna use a reap variation because if I'm in the cross Ashi without the second leg and I pass his leg to the other side, I now have a reap on this, on this leg that I was attacking and it makes it easy to expose the heel. So we're gonna unlock a laces up from the cross Ashi and then set that up. So with the second leg controlled, it's uh, because I have this leg control, it's pretty easy for me to lock what's called a shoelaces. So there's a few ways I can do this. For now, I'm just gonna kick him in this direction. This is gonna off balance him when I lock a tight triangle and I fold my right foot all the way under his butt. So my right foot is now all the way under Placido's hips. So this gives me uh, an additional wedge under his hips. It's a very, very tight position. So I'll just show that again. I'm initially controlling the second leg. I give him a little kick in this direction, triangle, fold the leg underneath, just like this. So now I'm gonna let go of this second leg. When I do that, I just want my knee to kind of come between his legs, just like this. So once I let go of this, if Placido doesn't hide his foot, I'm gonna be able to feed my inside heel hook. But most of the time my partner is gonna hide the foot. So when he does that, I just lean my chest back and I pass this leg to the other side like this. So I still have my shoelace position, but now I have the leg in the outside heel configuration instead of the inside heel hook. So if Placido goes to hide his foot right here, which would involve him turning on his right hip, it's very, very hard. I can come up with my elbow and I can put a really big bend in his leg like this, which is gonna allow me to expose his heel. Now it's not that difficult for me to reach back and I just throw my elbow right over the ball of his foot and I catch his heel right here and I fall down to my shoulder on this side. From this position, I can lock my hands together. When I finish, similar to most heel hooks, I'm having a rotational force in this direction, uh, rotating his lower leg or his femur to my left and rotating his shin to my right. So when I do this, I'm turning my knees up to the sky in conjunction tight, tight. with this turn and I get, a really, I get a really tight heel hook right here. So what I like about this, because of the right foot right here, if Placido goes to turn in this direction, I just turn my knees to the left when he goes to try to turn, going to try to turn. It's really difficult for him, and I can get really powerful finishing That's in this incredible. position right here. One more time, Jason. Of course. So we start in the cross Ashi position with the second leg controlled. And I have a tight Achilles grip. I'm going to kick Placido in this direction and lock a tight triangle and fold my right leg underneath, so I end up in this shoelace position. Before I let go of this leg, I just get my knee to the inside. Now, I go for the heel hook. I know he's gonna hide his foot, so I just lean straight back and pass his leg to the other side like this. Now, I come up with my elbow to expose the heel, so I create a strong bend in his knee. Now, I throw my right elbow back, and I catch the heel just like this. My second hand comes in. I connect, I can go wrist to wrist, or if I can't reach, I go palm to palm. Now, I rotate my knees to the left as I rotate, my, uh, rotate his heel Tap. Right, and I get a really strong finish, Tap. just like this. Okay, so for this one, you go hand to hand. So I could I could go wrist to wrist sometimes because I'm, I feel very extended in this direction. It's hard to reach, so I could go wrist to wrist, but sometimes palm to palm or is is fine as well. And then yeah. rotate the knees and then finish. And you use the same mechanic, like you're both used to try to go yes. towards that direction, and you're yes, absolutely because uh, so. It's not quite as tight as like an outside heel, as like a regular outside Ashi, but because of the position of my legs, it's really, really hard for him to spin or move. So, so he's kind of just sitting here, that's just, just eating. eating right, that's just, it's very tight. Yeah. Well, this is, yeah. uh, if you watched, um, I think it was a BJJ Stars, Kain and Duarte used this same position against Mika. Mika. I mean, he got disqualified because yeah. it was Khabib, but uh, it was cool because I, I love this position. I've used it for a while, but I've yeah. never seen it used in competition before. It was cool to see, oh. even though it was, oh, that was, it was a illegal. Match, uh, yeah, 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 even though it was yeah. illegal, but you can kind of see like Mika straighten his leg. Like if I do it again, you can kind of get, depending on your partner's reaction, you can sometimes get the knee bar effect right here. So if I lock this laces up, I roll all the way through, 
and like Blasino doesn't let me bend his leg. Yeah, I'm trying I don't to get like a, a sideways yeah, knee yeah, bar, yeah. right? Which is what happened. Obviously, it was illegal, but it was like you know, it was still executed. Oh, and then uh, I remember the match like uh, Nika started, and he got his sweep very quick, and he was yeah. jumping around, and then he kind of got there, and he didn't even. He just went like. Uh, yeah. On our pilot and then Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. But uh no that 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 uh that's a great one. And of course no he is fully legal, right? Fully legal, exactly. Oh yeah, well, that's incredible. Yeah, so guys Jason just showed an entire structure all about the cross ashi and it's gonna be at bggfanatics.com very soon. As you can see he's crazy knowledgeable about that situation. So make sure to check it out. Maybe by the time you're wet you're watching it's already there. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. And thanks. Thank you so much, Bernardo. Thank you, Placido. Thank you. Thank you, Placido. Thank you. Please help me out to grow my YouTube channel. Just click subscribe. And to watch more videos, just click under see more videos. I hope you enjoyed. BJJFanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jujitsu faster.